quadratics, cubics, and quartics. A polynomial is a nonlinear expression having one variable to various powers while being summated with coefficients. Polynomials are classified by their degree, which is the highest power of the function. In this quadratic example, the degree of the polynomial is 2, and the respective coefficients are 3, 2, and 1. To find the solutions or roots of a polynomial, we must equal the output to 0. We can also have polynomials of the 3rd and 4th degree, which are called cubics and quartics respectively. Finding the roots of a polynomial can't always be done, as when the degree increases, so does the difficulty of the general solution. When dealing with quadratics, we can determine two solutions using the quadratic formula, but because of the square root, it is possible to have two complex conjugates. For a cubic, we can see that the general solution becomes more complex and there is a possible of three solutions. One of the variables is always real, while the other two can be complex. Looking at the quartics, the general solution is too cumbersome to use in an analytical sense, though a quartic must have at least two solutions if the other two variables involve complex numbers. The general solution of these polynomials rapidly becomes quite complex, and as such, there are less uses the Greek at tile. However, in 1799, Italian mathematician Paolo Ruffini was able to extend upon the work of Niels Henrik Abel to rigorously prove that for any polynomial of degree greater than 4, there does not in fact exist a general solution. This theorem is now commonly referred to as the abel ruffini theorem. In conjunction with the abel ruffini theorem and the absurdity of the cubic and quartic general solutions, it lends to the problem, how do we find the roots of polynomials? Nowadays, we simply make use of the advent of computers to quickly and accurately approximate the roots of polynomials. Numerical techniques such as the Regula fallacy method, bisection method, and Newton's method are commonly used to approximate roots to all polynomials incredibly accurately and with high precision. Whilst formal notation hadn't yet been established, polynomials and their solutions were developing in mathematics from as early as the 3rd century and were represented in Greek mathematician Diophantus' book, Arithmetica. He was able to describe simple arithmetic involving polynomials up to the sixth degree. Polynomials of first and second degree invoke the discovery of different sets of numbers such as irrational, rational, negative, or zero numbers. It wasn't until the 16th century that modern symbolic notation with the use of letters as parameters was developed by Viet Arsagoge. It was also around this time that the set of complex numbers was uncovered by Italian mathematicians Raphael Bombelli and Girolamo Cardano, allowing for previously impossible problems to be solved. All these extensions to the set of algebraic numbers sparked controversy because mathematicians would be mocked for posing ideas as absurd as negative quantities or non-real numbers. One of the most used and course relevant appearances of polynomials in science and engineering is Taylor polynomials. Taking the partial sum of Taylor series can allow for some excellent approximations of otherwise complicated functions, allowing for easy computation. Polynomials can be applied in real-life situations, such as an engineer designing a roller coaster by modelling curve. A common example is the small angle approximations for the sine and cosine functions. Most commonly, polynomials are used in some basic mathematical modelling, which in extent allows them to appear in several areas, such as engineering and physics. Another use includes predicting and describing traffic patterns so that appropriate traffic control measures, such as traffic lights, can be implemented. Polynomials are also applied in economics and finance, such as in cost analysis, to determine the maximum and minimum values.